channel new subscribers hello the name is Sarah Eliza talks so as we can see today there is actually a chair and there is a say so it is gonna be an honest chat in the chair thy chair the chair with say considering I am actually wearing my gym kit today let's talk about gym anxiety. It is something that I can hold my hands up to and say that it did definitely affect me and still does on some days. There are probably a lot of people suffering from it. Maybe currently, maybe previously and you managed to get over it. If you did, well done you. Pat on the back for that. So obviously the main sort of aim behind this video is trying to help you build that gym confidence. Because why don't we go to the gym? To work out, to feel good, whatever it is, aesthetic reasons, we all go for a reason. And the reason that we go to the gym is not to look at other people. At least I hope not. Because if it is, that's a little bit weird. Just go to a nightclub. Just do anything else. I actually used to have really bad gym anxiety. And I think I started going to the gym when I was about 17, let's go with 17. I was probably about 17 when I actually started going to the gym. And when I say going to the gym, I mean I was going three or four times a month. Gym girl. I just love the gym. Just being me, being free, just living my life in the gym. And when I used to go to the gym before, I used to literally walk in, walk straight in the mat sections. And because I would see the actual weight uh, area, which was like a little square in my gym back then, and it was just filled with men. There were no women whatsoever. And I was like, ooh, anxious, couldn't go there. I would be the only female there. That would be weird. Would it? My usual routine back in the day was probably, I'd walk into the gym, I'd maybe go and pick up a one kilogram, two kilogram dumbbell, because I'm just fucking huge. Then I would go into the mat section, maybe do a little bit of arms, maybe a little bit of bums and terms, the lot. So then if I saw the side room, which was like the room that was used for classes, oh my god, it was a little bit of CLI to Mary, I'm fucking not there. Like, absolutely not was I going to stay in the main section of the gym. There's a quiet area because I had gym anxiety, therefore, the further I was away from people, the happier my gym experience was. That just limits you going to the gym at shit times my main anxieties were when I was going to the gym, it was probably, number one, other people watching me in the gym was a huge anxiety of mine. Like I was just like, oh my God, there's gonna be other people there that might even be looking at me. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. They are too busy, the majority of the people in the gym, looking at the size of their own biceps on their 20th curl to be concerned about what you're doing whatsoever. Trust me, I've seen it. They love themselves. Or, it's probably because you're hot as fuck. That's why. They're probably just checking you out. But even if there are people that are looking at you in the gym because they might be thinking that you're hot or whatever, me personally, that gives me my own anxieties because I find it quite intimidating to have someone else look at me whilst I'm trying to work out and get my sweat on. I'm like, babe, you don't want to see me at worst. You do not want to see that. I just want to get into it. I want to get deep into it and I can't do it when I've got some guy in the corner like, it just puts you off. Puts you off your flow. I'm like, I'm in my flow, fuck off. So, because I was just so anxious of people looking at me, I would not go to the gym by myself because I was like, it's okay if I go with a friend, then maybe they're looking at us both, so then that's half the embarrassment. So like, surely it's fine then? Number two is like, I had such a fear of doing the exercise wrong that I was in the gym and you know like you see like these lad bible or whatever these videos are, people in the gym using the equipment wrong. I was concerned that one of those videos was gonna go viral about me and I was like, rather not put myself into a situation and I'll just stick to what I know. The one kilogram dumbbells. Back in the day when I used to go to the gym, it seemed like the gym was just filled with loads of professionals who knew what they were doing and I was the only person who didn't know what they were doing. Therefore, I was like, just gonna avoid the embarrassment and just not go at peak times. We've all probably had that gym anxiety moment where like you might have just started your set and you've got like three sets say on the leg press and someone comes over and they're like, oh, have you got many sets left? And you're like, oh my God, yeah. This is just my last set now, I'm just pumping one up for fun. I'm just pumping one out for fun, like. <laughs> and you're literally just there like, oh yeah, no, totally, this is my last set. Like, you can definitely have it even though you've got three sets left because you can't deal with the embarrassment of someone else staring at you due to your final set. So you're just like, just have it. God, I'm totally exhausted of that one set. Hopefully I'll have a huge booty in a few weeks. 
it's important that you get gradual exposure to the gym. So obviously, as I've said, going to the gym off peak times is the best time to go because there's less people there. I even went to the gym before at like 1am because I was like, surely I'm not gonna see anyone that I know there. And keep going more and more and more and more and more and maybe listen to some music or like listen to an audiobook or whatever it is to distract yourself. The more and more you go, the more and more confident you'll become. It's the same as if you're doing anything. If you start playing the piano, you might be shit initially. The more and more you do it, the better you get. Sorry about my dog. I got a new puppy, actually. I'll show her at the end of this video. If you're someone that might be just starting out at the gym, I would probably recommend going with a friend that knows what they're doing with the equipment. So you can go and they're like, oh, I'll show you how to use it. Good tip of mine to feel good in the gym is to look good because when you look good, you feel good. So I would probably say go mix it up with the old gym kits because my gym kits, I'm always feeling myself in them. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I wear my gym kits probably more outside of the gym than I do probably in the gym because I've not really been going to the gym that much lately. But it's okay because I'm accepting it. I'm going with the flow. I've been injured. I've got the old clav. It's on the mend. I'm still maintaining some muscle. Absolutely none. I'm really enjoying my five guys a day. Wear a gym kit that obviously you feel comfortable in because for ages I used to see girls that would wear sports bras to the gym and I'd be like, oh my God, they're wearing a sports bra at the gym? How have they got the confidence to do that? And now you would not see me without a sports bra in the gym, just a sports bra because I just get so sweaty Betty that I can't cope without a sport de bra on. Oh my God, that chair just went back. Chase. So this one is actually from H&M and these bad boys are from Boohoo. So just mix and match with whatever you decide to wear. Go to the gym, but feeling confident in whatever you wear, whatever is your items of choice, just be feel confident in it. Because if you don't feel confident in what you wear, you're never ever gonna be able to feel confident in the gym. Um, so whatever that may be, you wear it. Go to the gym, go there because you enjoy working out because you wanna do it for whatever reason it is you wanna do. So I'ma say, go boss that workout, okay? I also, exciting, got a new little puppy. So I wanna do a little vlog about her next week. Her name's called Tilly and she's so, so cute. Oh my God, she's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. I will bring her up now, bear with me. She's so cute. She's actually a little cockapoo. Adorable. Tilly. Tail. Go, 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 oh my God. Oh my God. Go, go. Here she is, Tail. Tilly. Tail, what's that? No, oh. no. Oh. Gotta bring her down before she pisses in the chair. If you enjoyed today's video, then please, of course, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and we've got a few more to come, a few more Tilly next week. Thanks so much for watching. Love from me and Tills. <laughs>